everyone, thank you for opportunity to talk with you today. My name is Leo Kuznetsov. I'm studying currently in the fourth year at St. Petersburg State University, Russia. And today my talk is considered with web-based representation and management of infection diseases data on a city-scale case study of St. Petersburg, Russia. So, let me start. I am going to divide this task into few five parts. In the project background, I would like to draw your attention to the background of this work. We have been working on our project for more than a year and a half, so we have some experience, main ideas and goals. Uh, after that, in the next article, in Accumulate Experience, I would like to introduce you to the existing experience and briefly present the method of our work. The architecture of the project in GIS, I would like to tell you the main architecture in GIS which we have right now. In the next session, Operated Medical Statistic Data, I would like to introduce you to the data what we had to work with. Uh, in the same article, I will tell you about the key reason to switch uh, our project to the web services. Uh, finally, in the last paragraph about prototyping, I will explain what guided uh, the plane of uh, web geese. I will tell you uh, some analogy and show you some analogy of our work. For more than a year, our research group, formed by researchers from univ our university and some medical organization and institute, are working on a study of GIS application to a account a model. First of all, it's a mapping the spread of social diseases in St. Petersburg. During 2018, we have done a lot of work. Some goals you can see in the picture. Initially, our goal was created a model for collecting and processing medical data, but over the time this task have expanded. Now the range of tasks includes data analytics, aggregation of information and de developing uh, thematic maps for the local governments. Main point that we don't want to make a special system for monitoring uh, diseases in St. Petersburg. Currently, we collected data on tuberculosis for the last five years covering all 18 administrative districts in St. Petersburg. In six out of uh, six to eighteen districts, uh, a comprehensive study and mapping we concluded with attention a HIV uh, viruses and hepatitis and estimates of the work uh, quality of local hospital and clinics. However, despite the advantages, GISs cannot be a good uh, for the medical specialist. GIS tools are operated easily by GIS domain specialists, but it's very difficult for medical professionals. One of the permiss uh, permissing directions for us is incorporate uh, of uh, web GIS uh, facilities in the develop development toolkit. Of course, during this time, our project has a special architecture, which includes patient data sets for each district and for the city as a whole. All patient information, it's very important, is depersonalized and completes with a Russian law number 100 to 1000 personal data. Uh, we have included geographic information lawyers in a shape format geographic uh, information project for QGIS system and developed model for geocoding data, we call it Geomedica. Uh, this um, model has uh, deployed uh, by us, has an alternative to the MM QGIS model. It's a simple model to geocode our address with patient to our project. Based on this, uh, we have accumulated a huge number of geographic information lawyers. Their transmission and processing is very difficult. Migration development to the web should help solve a large number of our problems. You can see the reason for migration gives to web in your page. 
First of all, it's the decentralization of health care organization. The Russian health care system is responded by several levels of medical organization. At the first level is district dispensaries in districts of the large city. Dispensaries as a district level collect information about patient and heal them. After that, they aggregate the information and give to the main central main central dispenser of the city or a subject. Uh, but you can see some difference because uh, between uh, information in dispensaries and information in the central hospital. Here you can see information from dispensaries in the first level, but here you can see information from the central hospital. Uh, web, straight, uh, web structure uh, we can solve uh, these problems uh, once uh, and for all. Next uh, reason is amount of information received. Of course, the volu uh, volume of our database is small. Uh, however, uh, storing them on a personal computer and using them in a personal guises is really difficult. Because of this, uh, we have to uh, regularly update our PC version in some different organizations, so it's really hard. Uh, informing uh, population and local governments. According to the federal law of state secrets, we can't um, give a secret for information about public health. Uh, in addition, local authorities uh, are uh, required to inform a population in their territory. Next reason and low level of uh, GIS competence uh, of the medical specialist. Uh, the low level of competition of medical specialist uh, does not allow using uh, the developer's GIS uh, at the organization levels. So web GIS should uh, save uh, their time and uh, mm, solve, solve this problem. Uh, the last problem is economic feasibility. Uh, maintaining a non-core GIS specialist as a medical facility costs a lot of money in the long run. So we can th we think that web GIS can sh um, solve this problem. Web interface can become popular for recent years for publication, gear special data, and delivery to consumer and users. Coronavirus uh, epidemic of uh, this year have pub uh, pushed application of dashboard solutions into research and development trends when uh, visualizing um, medical geospatial data. Example uh, in this case are uh, the John Hopkins University COVID dashboard. So, Maximum flexibility uh, in web uh, GIS interface development can be uh, ensured when you're using PHP and JavaScript uh, web development. Uh, but um, in our way, we haven't so much time to learn uh, Java and PHP. Uh, and we choose a Python language uh, and um, Python Django library. Uh, you can see the reason why we choose that. Uh, first of all, we have experience in Python. Python is used in most GIS systems, and Python is one of the fastest growing programming languages. Uh, we are currently working on the architecture of our future project. First must have building block is a map visualization tools. Next, GIS is a Russian commercial company that built a business in the geospatial uh, domain uh, around open source. For example, they work with the QGIS. We have a pilot web mapping project called Fabris GIS. We use a data which collected in Moskovsky administrative district of St. Petersburg. But another example is Geocinematica, a web platform for the special data publication. For example, a developer can add a timeline to the map to open it time development data uh, that is very extremely important for our study. In conclusion, I want to say, web publication of generic medical statistics was supposed at the early beginning stage of our study. Thank you for your attention.